Hi, I'm Pranav Tuli. And guess what I am? So basically in India, whenever a son is born, what is the first thing that comes in the parents mind related to the career of their son? That is, mera beta to bada hoke engineer hi banega. And yes, I am an electrical engineer, a certified lean manager and a certified lean six sigma green belt and now pursuing for lean six sigma black belt from NIQC International. So you guys must be wondering that why I am making this video, right? I am making this video because I got a wonderful opportunity to take part in DN Incorporation Business Excellence Award for the year 2020. And this video is for the popularity round of my project. And my project is all about Kaizen. So before I show my project, I will give a really small example related to Kaizen, which also reminds me of my hostel days where the what is the most difficult thing which uh, boys find in a hostel is of taking bath maybe they feel lazy or the soap packets which they buy are empty so like a japanese company was also facing the major issue of their of uh, the soaps which they were producing and the few of the packets were getting shipped empty so can you imagine the pain which the customer feels that whenever they open the box, they, when they unbox it and they found the soap packets empty. So it was really highly dissatisfaction for all the customers. And to co overcome this issue, what they did is they had the brainstorming sessions in which many people came up with the ideas of installing the x-ray machines and installing the new equipments, which were really costing them a lot. And the guy came up with an idea of just installing a fan in the final conveyors of the packaging unit which will allow all the packets of the soap which are packed with soap to pass and the empty packets will automatically flow away so you can see this how a small idea can result in a big win so this is what my project is all about so now i'll be showing you the report of my project so as you can clearly see the theme of my project is modification in DC motor cooling system. So I'll start with the problem statement which we were facing in our site. We were having a DC motor installed in a particular section and for the cooling of that particular DC motor, the there were two uh, separate cooling fan motors which were provided, one on the side of the motor and one on the top of the motor for the cooling of that particular DC motor. But during running hours, it was really difficult for someone to climb above the motor and check the motor which was installed on the top of the main motor for the, its cooling. As a result, due to lack of inspection, the motor failed. And not only once, it failed for more than two to three times in a year, I can say. And it was getting really difficult for our team to answer this question to management when they ask us, why the motor is getting failed every time we can't reply like it was because of the lack of maintenance but also we can't go against the safety norms and put someone's life at a risk of getting that motor checked during the running time so in the further slides you will see what are the modifications that we made in-house and what are the ideas that came up during the brainstorming sessions which really helped us so this is the content part. One is the project theme, the other is the documentation, and then few pictures of the uh, before, impl in before implementation and after uh, implementation with the results which we face, which we came across and the road roadblocks which we came across. So this was the theme, the modification in the DC motor cooling system. So this is the main document of the project as you can clearly see. In this uh, sheet, we have the theme of the Kaizen, which is the modification which we did in a DC motor cooling system. The problem, as I explained earlier in the problem statement part, was there was no provision to check the cooling fan motor during the running hours. And it was really difficult. And every time there was motor failure, which resulted in the plant stoppage, the plant reliability also came from 100% to 90%. And it was getting difficult for us to answer the top management like why we are facing these issues 
and after every time when we did the rca of the failed motor we find that the motor was having a high speed it was a high speed motor and its bearing got seized and it failed maybe because of the lack of inspection you can say and to eliminate the root cause we had a brainstorming sessions and what is the final thing we come up with the final idea which we selected was of removing that top cooling fan motor and with that also modifying the side doors of the motor main motor you can see. and it was really a hit and trial method which we tried and it worked really wonderfully for the entire team and it gave us so many financial quantifications which i will sharing it with you in the further slide so what we did is we simply removed the top to cooling fan motor we sealed that area properly and we modified the side doors like wings which will open when the motor is running all the hot air will be coming out of the motor which will also reduce the winding temperature of the motor and when the motor is stopped that wings will be closed so under the benefits you can see there were three benefits one was the cost the second one was the safety and third one was the related to morale and the photos you can see these are the before kaizen implementation these were the heat exchanger doors and these were the commutator doors the commutator doors are the bottom uh, at present at the bottom and the heat exchanger doors are present at the top and this have, this is what uh, modification which we did with the doors we made them like wings whenever the main motor is running all the hair hot air will come out from this commutator side door and under the observation like also it was really a, at high risk uh, we, we did this project and uh, under the observation what we did is we monitored the winding temperature of the motor and main motor you can see there were three points given to inspect the winding temperature and uh, for the 24 hours train the temperature was always less than 65 degree and also we checked the motor at site the motor was not getting heat up so the project got uh, successful for us now if we talk about the results under quantitative benefits we uh, achieved a saving of rupees 1 lakh and 38000 approx annually that uh, calculation part you can see is the quantitative is the quantitative benefits which we had after removing of this motor and if we talk about qualitative benefits which we uh, achieved one was the safety performance became 100% the risk level reduced to zero because as there was no top motor so there is no worries of any inspection from the top the maintenance time reduced and the most important the plant reliability also increased and also the if the plant reliability when it became 100% the employee morale increased automatically so whenever we try to achieve something or the new or we try to implement it there are always uh, roadblocks uh, which uh, we all face and during uh, this project the major roadblock uh, which we uh, faced was it was really difficult to our uh, buy in from the stakeholders because this concept was completely new and it was against the manufacturing design so everyone was having a worry like whether it will work or not whether after removing of that motor how, what will the what will happen if the main motor gets failed so somehow we tried to convince everyone and we put it uh, for hit and trial method and gave it as a pilot implementation like if it uh, gets success we will try to keep it for a day or two and uh, then we will uh, continue uh, continue observation of the motor and continuously will monitor all the parameters related to the motor and if it gets succeed we will extend it for a month and then for a year and there was one more issue the road block which uh, we were facing was this motor was uh, at uh, the site was in meghalaya so there is a myth of uh, high moisture content in the atmosphere of meghalaya but when the wings were made of the door what we observed that the 
hot air which is uh, coming from the motor which which uh, and because of that hot air the moisture won't be entering inside the motor so this is how we overcome with all the road blocks so guys this is what is uh, my project all about hope you guys have enjoyed the video so please do like share and comment and at the end uh, the only one thing which i will say is all the small ideas may also give you a big win and that is what kaizen is all about thank you